When I thought about what topic I wanted to dig into through my senior thesis, I, like many people, wanted to talk about something that interested me and that I wanted to more fully understand. There were a lot of things that fit this category, so I followed Mr. Andrews' instructions and looked for which curricular text most interested me or I found most potential in. At first, I landed on Huckleberry Finn, and I asked myself why I found this book in particular interesting, and I delved more deeply into its themes. From this idea, I formed a question, basically entitled, how do people leave extremism? And I went back through Huckleberry Finn to find evidence. Through my discussion of this topic with my advisor, Miss Moss, I decided that this thesis wouldn't be the best idea. And I went back to square one and found a new curricular text, this time Scarlet Letter, and looked for a new question to answer. My new question was, what causes humanity to enforce rules upon itself and how does this impact us? I don't think there's anyone this issue hasn't affected in some way. The way we as a society shape our youth has a profound impact on all of us in some way. Some of these rules are positive and some are negative, so I sought to understand why we make these sometimes seemingly counterproductive social rules and norms. Of course, when discussing this topic, some of the worst examples come to mind. The oppression of women and especially people of color throughout American history, the discrimination and violence against LGBT people in many, many countries, and to a much milder extent, the odd rules we've set on what people can and can't do based on their gender. All these topics are things I wanted to explore and understand the origins of, but I also wanted to emphasize the rules that are good and should be kept around, and the difference between these two, the good and the bad rules. To further investigate this, I reread Scarlet Letter, Pride and Prejudice, and by Miss Moss's recommendation, I also looked into James Baldwin's A Talk to Teachers. Each of these sources had a different way of addressing this issue. In Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, Hester is ostracized from the Puritan community for committing adultery. She is forced into a lifelong punishment of shaming and guilt, and must wear a big red A on her clothes as a mark of her sin. While the act of adultery is indeed wrong and harmful, the community reaction and the consequences used against Hester and her partner were wrong and more harmful than good. Hester must raise her child alone and in poverty. She begins to fear her child, Pearl, for what she represents. She is made incredibly depressed, to the point of wishing for death. Many of these harsh punishments are spurred on by the jealousy of the women in town. This helped me understand the idea of rules and consequences formed in selfishness. A Talk to Teachers was written in 1963, in the throes of the Civil Rights Movement, and Baldwin addresses the source of the hate and discrimination enforced by white people on black Americans how this originated, and how it affects black youth in America. This article really impacted the way I saw our history, and made me realize how sometimes arbitrary rules are created and enforced to keep a certain group in power, and to make that group feel as though they are blameless. If you have not read this article, I strongly encourage you to. It truly encapsulates the situation people were in at that time, and it helps me understand why the present has become what it is. But I digress. All of the text informed my position about the origin and impact of the many norms and expectations we have and have had in the past. Thus, I landed on my thesis. The rules and norms of society are made to enforce certain behaviors and ideas that either benefit the people or perpetuate a way of thinking that they believe is right, whether for better or for worse. Rules based in virtue are worthy of carrying on. Those not based in virtue can be used to abuse and manipulate others for personal benefit. This was how I tackled addressing the differences between rules and how to identify which should be continued, that only those teachings that are based in virtue can be upheld. For example, being taught not to harm others because you yourself would not want to be harmed. That's empathy and justice. Rules not formed on the basis of empathy or another virtue can be very easily manipulated to serve the desires of a person, which often ends poorly. I hope to prove this using the sources I've accumulated in my full thesis. Thank you.